one of the, the key changes, paradigm shifts, is really about democratization. It's about putting the power that used to be in the hands of McKinsey and IBM. So <laughs> picking on McKinsey, I like <laughs> No, I think they're, they're, gonna, they're just gonna get it today, right? And we love McKinsey. Um, and, but it's taking the power out of the hands of the elite, out of, right, as Benjamin Franklin once said, you know, the, the printing press is wonderful, it's, it's a free press for the, everyone who can actually afford one. And actually now putting it into the hands of every single person in the world, if you've got a mobile phone, if you can go to the library and get onto the computer, you can actually get your voice heard. And as we're seeing more with microblogging services like Twitter that we were talking about and FriendFeed and so on, as we see mobile services uh, where you know people can with quick, right? I can have the power of a television studio in my pocket. The power now that used to be in the hands of the richest and most powerful in the society only is now in the hands of everyone. And what does that mean? It means that organizations and communities can form together, even if it's just about the little league or the local football team, or it's about your local school or your family. But it also means people like you know, political candidates and the people who support them can get their views out there and heard directly from the people, not necessarily through just a media focus. But, but the corporations, uh, I mean, uh, there are two stances that are both wrong. One is to ignore the whole phenomenon. And the other one is to say, oh, we need a corporate blog. And then they write something that no one reads. <laughs> right. uh, how, how, why is what happens in the blogosphere, why is that important for corporations? Well, first of all, I guess there's a couple of different ways you can think about this. One is just simply, these are your customers. We are your customers. And guess what? We're also telling our friends about the products we love and about the ones we hate. And so at the first step, you can do nothing, but you can just listen, right? So you can use a tool, and this is where Technorati, but there's other search engines out there that you can use to, so to so be able to, says the world to just, is a dialogue. It's a dialogue. Yeah. So listen to that conversation. Hear what people are saying about your company, your product, your competitors. It's great market research. And then, of course, the next step that you can choose is you can go out and you can make your voice heard and you can be authentic and real and participate in that conversation. But I think there's an enormous danger as well if you're really not authentic, if it's just going to be your lawyers talking, if it's just going to be press release pablum, do yourself a favor, don't blog, <laughs> right? Don't do it. But if you come from a culture that embraces your customer that embraces the services and that wants to be involved in that conversation that's happening, getting on blogs and hey, you know, getting on Facebook, getting on social networking sites, and being actually in the trenches and listening to the, your customers who now become your evangelists. This is an extraordinary tool that has never existed.